In this lecture, you're going to learn how to create a stored procedure in MySQL. For this demo, we're going to write a simple query, like select everything, oops, select everything from the client's table. We want to store this query and a store procedure. We can create a store procedure using the create procedure statement. Then we give our store procedure a name, like get underline clients. Note that here I'm only using the lowercase letters and I'm separating multiple words using an underscore. This is a common convention amongst MySQL developers. Now, after the name, we add a pair of parentheses. Later, I will show you how to add parameters here to pass a value to our store procedure. Then we type begin. Here's our query. And then we terminate the store procedure using the end statement. What we have in between the begin and end keywords is called the body of the store procedure. Now here we only have a single statement, but quite often the store procedures that we create in the real world have multiple statements. So we'll have to terminate each statement using a semicolon, even if we have a single statement here. This is a MySQL requirement, and you may not have to worry about this if you use other database management systems like SQL Server. Now here we have a couple of syntax errors. Don't worry about it. We're going to fix it in a second. Now here's the tricky part. We want to give all these statements to MySQL as a single unit rather than individual statements separated using a semicolon. So we want MySQL to take this entire unit and create a procedure for us called get clients. We don't want it to execute individual statements that we have here. How do we do this? Well, we'll have to change this default delimiter that is a semicolon to something else. So just before creating our procedure, we use the delimiter statement to change the default delimiter. By convention, a lot of developers use two dollar signs, but you can literally use anything. You could use two slashes or any sequence of characters that you don't use in your SQL code. But let's stick to the convention. So we add two dollar signs here to change the default delimiter. Then we repeat this after the end keyword. So with this, we're telling MySQL, hey, this is the new delimiter. Take all these statements as one unit. Now, finally, we need to change the default delimiter back to a semicolon. So with these changes, you can see those syntax errors are gone. This is how we create store procedures in MySQL. In other database management systems like SQL Server, you don't have to change the default delimiter, OK? Now, let's execute this. All right, now let's open up the Navigator panel, refresh the view. Now we have a new store procedure, beautiful, get clients. We can call or execute this procedure by clicking on this icon. This returns all the clients in our database. We can also call a store procedure using the call statement. So call get clients, then we add the parentheses, and this executes our get clients stored procedure. Now, most of the time, calling a store procedure is something that we do in our application code, like in C Sharp, Java, Python, whatever. But there are times that you want to call a store procedure in your SQL code, and this is how you do it. Now, for your exercise, create a store procedure called get invoices with balance to return all the invoices with a balance greater than zero. All right, before creating the store procedure, let's first write this query to make sure our query returns the right result. So select everything from the invoices table where invoice total minus payment total is greater than zero. So these are the invoices. Now here we could also use our view. So I can select everything from invoices with balance where balance is greater than zero, okay? This is better because we can see the balance column here. So all these invoices have a balance greater than zero. Beautiful. Now let's put this inside of a store procedure. So first we need to change the default delimiter to $2 signs. Then we create a procedure called get invoices with balance. We add a pair of parentheses, then we add begin. It's better to indent our code so we know where our store procedure begins and where it ends. Now here we need to type the new delimiter, $2 signs, and then we need to change the default delimiter back to a semicolon. 
Here we have a syntax error because I forgot to put a semicolon here. So as I told you before, you should always terminate every single statement in a store procedure with a semicolon. And this is the reason we changed the default delimiter so we can use this semicolon in our store procedure, okay? Now let's execute these statements. All right, back in the Navigator panel, let's refresh. Here's our new store procedure. Let's call it. And here's the result. Beautiful.